I asked her how she is. She answered, as usual, I'm both living in a past, for I know him, and he knows me. I experienced him, and he experienced me. I made him, and he made of me. And fear him from the merciless present and the scavenging future. I said, the prison that you avoided has gone to where you usually go, and the future will always ignore you as long as you refuse to meet him. Let me advise you, I told her, run to him, because it's over there where the sun rises. She said, words that take their toll upon my soul, which is burned by the misery sun. But he stared anyway to the smiling mouth town without effort, which makes me sick of it. Is there any hope to shine my face without the decision that I have already postponed? Is there any way to reverse the rules so that she comes to visit me instead of me doing that to her? For as you see, I have been tired of waiting and running backward, being disabled by the hope's mirage, which for the most part turns into pain in a blink of an eye. I told her, O oh, daughter of the steam, ask the Red Sea to shed light into your brain with the answer. Ask the dates to quench your thirst. Ask me to find the same answer. There is neither night except you, nor horse except your strict decision. Ride it and can beat the wind toward your aim as long as it is vibrant. The present is leaving to where you usually escape. As for the future, it will continue ignoring you as long as you fear it. Listen to my advice. Your teeth will never appear except there.